We're here today with uh, Nathan Wood, uh, professor of history at uh, the University of Kansas, uh, graduate of Northwestern and Louisiana Scholars College, uh, 1996. And um, he gave us today a wonderful lecture whose title is uh, Backwardness and Rushing Forward, Life in History in the Age of Speed. Uh, so Nathan, I'd like to start by just asking you if you could just talk a little bit about your research, uh, perhaps about your, your talk today, some of uh, the main things that you've been doing in your research. Uh, thank you. So uh, my, my first book was about cities uh, at the turn of the century, and I wrote about a particular city, Krakow, in Poland. Uh, and so there, my question was a lot about uh, modernization and urbanization. How did people react to living in big cities? And while I was working on that project, uh, I came across these fascinating uh, stories of people getting hit by electric streetcars, uh, these new trams that had never been seen in the city before. And I became very interested in, in how people react to change, rapid change. Uh, and, and so I decided that for my second project, I wanted to look at the machines that were most emblematic of the age of speed, of this, this rapid shift that occurred at the turn of the century, so bicycles and, and automobiles and airplanes. Uh, Poland is in a part of Europe that's often connoted with backwardness, perhaps unfairly, but it is a more, or was a more agrarian uh, sort of place. And so I thought, what better way to explore the, the issue of backwardness and rushing forward than by looking at machines that quite literally propelled people forward. So my current book project is entitled Backwardness and Rushing Forward. Tentatively, I haven't published it yet, uh, but I'm working on these chapters in which I'm exploring um, bicycles and cycling clubs, um, automotive uh, clubs and aviation clubs, then also inventors and designers, engineers, people who worked with these machines, popular literature about these machines, the way that they were covered in the press, though the way that they were adopted. So it's about uh, how, does, how does a society react to the appearance of these quick new machines? Uh -huh. Well, thank you. Uh, a big question, of course, that I wanted to ask, since you are uh, one of our uh, prominent graduates from the Louisiana Scholars College, uh, what kind of impact uh, did that have on your, uh, your, your career? A tremendous impact. The Scholars College really, really, I think, helped to give me a great background in reading books critically, uh, learning to um, analyze a book carefully and an argument carefully, uh, find evidence, conduct research, write persuasively, sit around uh, a table or in chairs and talk about what I've read, to learn from other people's ideas. My whole definition of what's a good discussion arose from my experience at the Scholars College. And essentially, I, I tell my students that when you uh, leave a room after a discussion session and realize that you learned something that you wouldn't have figured out on your own, it's been a good discussion. Because collectively, your ideas have, have uh, have improved what, what we each uh -huh. individually uh -huh. know or grasp about this topic. And so for me, those years were, were so formative, doing texture and traditions, uh, reading great books, um, writing an, a, a senior thesis, uh, engaging in a long-term research project that required significant work, uh, and, and being able to, to see it to fruition. It was a tremendous educational experience for me. And you know, I think the fact that I didn't do a typical major, that I was able to do humanities and social thought and take courses in, in, in anthropology and ethnography and sociology and uh, literature, in addition to the history that I knew increasingly I really wanted to study professionally, um, gave me a, a, a better background when I, when I mm -hmm. left here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, final question, uh, which to some extent you've already answered, uh, but d do you have any words for either prospective Scholars College students or Scholars College students now, things that you've learned from your experience and advice perhaps that you could give them or encouragement? Yeah, absolutely. I would say that it's, it's vital to learn to read well and write well and that writing is, is difficult, it's painful. Uh, I, I frankly still don't enjoy it. I'm pleased with the result. I, I, I love it if I, if I uh, sort of craft a sentence that I, that I can be proud of later uh -huh. on. But, but the actual process is difficult because writing is the most refined uh, measure of thinking and it requires great energy, 
to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so read, read uh, widely and, 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 and write. And, and, and that's, that's, I think, one very important bit of advice. And of course, being in, in a, a place like the Scholars College, you have to, right? I mean, that's, that's the way the curriculum is set up. Secondly, I would say try to study abroad. Try to get some sort of experience that gets you beyond what you're familiar with, that, in, uh, that helps you to encounter another culture or another way of thinking. It, it need not really even be abroad, necessarily, but I, that's probably better. Uh, study foreign languages if you can. Uh, there, there is intrinsic value in learning a foreign language, even, even if you don't pursue a career later on for which you, you necessarily need it. Just the, the ability to understand that, that human thought is quite often predicated on our language. Uh, you become aware of that when you learn that someone else says or thinks or expresses themselves differently. Um, those are probably my two main points. So, so reading and writing well and, and, and trying, trying to study abroad and sort of sucking the marrow from the college experience because it's <laughs> easier to do these things, I think, when you're at this life mm -hmm. stage than it is later on. And your mind's more pliable, let me uh -huh. tell you. You don't uh -huh. forget stuff as quickly. <laughs> so, right. yeah, that's what I'd say. Okay. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs>